Hey folks, it's Dr. Mike. We're back here again for another medical exercise specialist blog post. And I want to talk about the three reasons medical exercise training progress reports are the best marketing you can do. Now you can see I got a little bit enthusiastic here and instead of three, I gave you four. But we're going to go over these. And let me say this. From the beginning, when we started the medical exercise specialist program, I've advocated that our medical exercise professionals should produce progress reports and send those to doctors, therapists, or chiropractors. Now remember, this medical professional has referred this client to you. So as a professional courtesy, you owe it to them to send the report to say, hey, here's how Mrs. Smith is doing, here's the progress that she's made. If you don't do that, it, that's a little unprofessional. And think about this, your client goes back to see their doctor or therapist. How accurate could your client be with regard to explaining to the doctor or therapist the exercise you're doing with the client and the progress they're making? Probably not very, not very well. So you want to take this time to actually let everyone know what you're doing. So let me go through these four reasons. Number one, you have a chance to show off your skill. Look at the great things I've done with Mrs. Smith here, Dr. Jones. We've, we've progressed in this area, in this area, in this area. So the doctor reads this report and they're like, wow, this is great. Number two, it gets past the gatekeeper. Now, remember when you tried to get in to see that doctor before and you couldn't get in because the office manager was like, well, you don't have an appointment. We can't give you an appointment for another six months. So that progress report gets passed because the progress report, when it comes in, it has their patients, your client's name on it, which means it's going, to be, it's going to be taken out of the envelope or when it comes across on the fax, they're going to take it and affix it to the patient's chart and put it on their appropriate medical professional's desk so it will be reviewed. With that, patient's name is on it and at the bottom, guess who signed it and dated it? You. Your name is at the bottom. So you get to show off the, your skills and it gets past the gatekeeper, the doctor, therapist, or chiropractor reads it and it allows you now future communication. Because once you've sent over that first progress report, guess what? You're probably going to need another one, or you may have a question. So guess what? It opens the door now to further communication. And number four, it sets you apart from the fitness pack. Every personal trainer in the community wants to talk to that doctor, therapist, or chiropractor. You now send a progress report. And folks, I'll tell you, the first time I got a progress report from a personal trainer, I was like, wow, okay. And you know what I was thinking? You do the same things we do as physical therapists, which now says, yeah, you're ahead of the pack. So we get this progress report. We have one of our patients we discharge. She asked me if she could get started with a trainer. I was like, sure. And about 30 days later, the woman, the, the trainer, sends me a progress report. I was like, wow, okay. I read it, stuck it back in the patient's chart, and was put away. So about two or three months later, we have a, a, a patient that now needs a home exercise program, and she wants to work with a personal trainer. I couldn't remember the patient's name, nor could I remember the trainer's name. So I told my uh, receptionist to just simply figure out what patient that was that came in with the progress report from the trainer months ago and just simply call that trainer and say we had a, a patient we wanted to refer. All because of the progress report. It does set you apart from the pack. So please folks, I urge you, if you want to be a professional medical exercise professional, then start producing progress reports and they will pay off in the long run. I give you, I give you that much. They will pay off. It'll take a little while, but they do pay off in the long run. So thanks for watching this blog post. If you have questions for me, please email me at drmike at postrehab.com. Over in our MedEx Pro 360 uh, community, we do have a course we offer on documentation and how to write progress reports, uh, assessment summaries, and even discharge summaries. You do need to do these things because once they've been discharged from physical therapy, we've got to keep track of the progress they make. We've got to keep track of what we saw with the assessment. We've got to keep track of what we saw when we discharged them and said, okay, you can do the exercise on your own. And it's not trying to take the place of the physician or the therapist or the chiropractor. It's not at all, but you've got to keep track of all of this stuff. And this becomes vitally important to build a professional practice. So thanks for watching. Best wishes in building your practice. And if you have questions about this, email me at Dr. Mike at postrehab.com or go over to MedX Pro 360 if you want to get more information on uh, developing uh, your skills as far as writing progress reports and assessment summaries and things of that nature. Please go over to MedX Pro 360, join the community. We have courses there that are available for you. So thanks again. All the best.